Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to do some speed test, and you've seen me do these before. Uh, the Zolar M98 is our go-to pump, and I've never seen anything come close to rivaling it, but this smart bot, take a look. Okay, so we've got our stopwatch. It's attached to the sump pit. We've got the GoPro set up over here to show you the water coming out. <laughs> Inch and a half pipe. We're filling up the sump basin. We'll fill it all the way up, 32 gallons. Let's see how long it takes to remove the water. <laughs> okay, we got 32 gallons of water. I'm gonna press start and plug this pump in. Let's see how long it takes, you ready? Okay, take a look for yourself. I mean, you know, take a few seconds off for a start and a stop. 20 seconds, <laughs> less than 20 seconds, and we removed all that water from that basin. It is all gone. I mean, it is totally gone, as you can see. And GoPro captured it. Okay, we're going to plug it in. Push that stopwatch and see how fast it goes. Ready? So you can see it, it was about 20 seconds, moved all that water, 30 plus gallons of water in less than 20 seconds. You know, I've talked about different things, you know, you've watched my videos, and I tell you that this Zoller M98 can move three trash cans of water every minute. And you can kind of see it, multiply it up, three times 30 is 90 gallons, that's, you know, in a minute, 20 seconds. You can do the math, but that's three trash cans full of water every minute. So fast, so powerful. Okay, so here's the test with the SmartBot. Remember, this is a computerized sump pump. It's actually a utility pump, and we are adapting that to work in an existing sump system. Let's take a look. Perfect. So what we're going to do is set up the smart bot against the Zoller M98. Got two bases. Okay, okay. We're, we're ready to, to set, set up this race, race but it's, it's not, not going to be an exact, exact race, race because when, when I, I plug, plug the, the smart, smart bot in, it has, has a delay. delay. In other words, it needs to sense the water. That's the technology. And when I plug in the Zoller M98, the float is already up and it's ready to kick on. So there will be a little delay, but I got my watch here if you can see it on the GoPro. Hopefully you can see it. We'll start that. I'd say my guess is that this smart bot, even though it starts late, is going to outrun the uh, Zoller M98. Um, I think it's faster, but let's just find out. So I'm going to plug the smart bot in first. And then we'll plug the Zoller M98 in. We'll start it. Let's just see what happens. Okay, same thing. Remember, there's a delay on the smart bot. 
So I'll plug him in first and then we'll plug the Zola in because it's ready to go. And then I'll try to get the stopwatch up there, but I don't really think that that much matters. They might be off by five, six, seven seconds, but it's not really the issue of how fast these guys are. It's how well they perform. And we're gonna do that in the main pit in just a second. So here we go, plugging in the SmartBot and the Zoller. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Zoller is powerful. So you know what? That was almost identical. And if we watch, so here we go, plugging in the SmartBot and the Zoller. So you can see the SmartBot, it really rivals that Zoller M98. And if you watched part one, there's a link to part one uh, in the description box. I hope that you watch that and see how we set that up in an existing system. If you watch that, we're going to find out if this SmartBot, if this computerized utility tech pump can actually stand the test of time and will it be a great backyard pump? So the SmartBot 3600, you know, I had my uh, doubts and I had expectations. You guys take a look at that video. I hope that you watch it again because there's a lot of information in there. And we're gonna let that pump sit in our yard, in our basin for the next 30 days. And hopefully we get some rain to test it out. But what I'm really curious about is the electronics. You know, the standard uh, older pumps with floats that go up and down, They've been tested for years. You know, we've been using sump pumps for 60, 70, 80 years, maybe longer, but SmartBot 3600, it surprised me. I think it's a pretty good pump and you might give it a try, uh, especially if you're a DIY. You know, DIY homeowner, um, take, pick up one of these pumps. They're on Amazon. There's a link in the description box below and grab one and put it in your garage. I'll bet you that you find uses for this that you never thought of. Thank you, Superbot team, all you guys that built this pump and, and sending it to me, that was quite nice. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.